Hey, I'm Mihi Joshi, and these are my sneakers. What's up guys, welcome once again to Smart Kicks and this channel is all about shoes. Today I'm very excited because I'm going to explore the sneaker collection of one of the most prominent hosts. He's a singer, he's also a commentator for WWE in India and now obviously he's a massive sneakerhead. So are you guys excited to explore his collection? Let's go ahead and let's do this. You know, I've been a passionate collector ever since uh, I started earning money. So whether it is collecting comic books, statues, music, movies, or now sneakers, sneakers is my is my new passion. And for the last, I'd say about two years, I've been collecting a whole bunch of sneakers. So my love for sneakers actually began because I watched uh, the Last Dance documentary on uh, Netflix, and the sneaker that really caught my attention was the the bread colorway. So the the first sneaker that I was able to get was the Band Mid, which is right here, and this is the one that kind of got me started. Another pair which was like a grail for me, which I definitely wanted to have, was the Shattered Backboard 2.0. It's just a beautiful sneaker with a great story. If you guys don't know what the story is, just Google it and you'll see what Michael Jordan did, why this is called Shattered Backboard and why specifically orange and black. It's there uh, in multiple videos online. But yeah, this is a sneaker that I definitely wanted to have. And my recent grail that I've added to my collection is the Rookie of the Year, another phenomenal sneaker uh, with great history uh, michael jordan uh, won the rookie of the year in his rookie year and over here this was one of the first sneakers which had this sort of detachable flaps there is a quote about uh, what he says which is uh, this award is nice but i i feel it's very important for every individual to go out and contribute to his team and on the other side are his rookie stats which is 1984-85 rookie of the year 2313 points and 28.2 points per game so I love that there's a story being told through the sneaker. So these were two grails that I wanted to have, which I've got, and now two more which are yet to come. Uh, this is a Nike by U sneaker. So I wanted a Chicago color uh, sneaker. So I took an Air Force One, I converted into an Air Force One Chicago. And over here, they give you the option of putting your own alphabets, or like three, you can put up to three, but I just put two, and it says Nike MJ. And what's cool about it is, of course, MJ are my initials, but they are also initials of the most famous basketball player in the world. So as a kid, I used to love the fact that I, I share initials with Michael Jackson. And now as a sneakerhead, I love the fact that I share initials with Michael Jordan. And of course, that's me, MJ, me, is Joshi. The Batman one. So, um, I'll just show it to you one second. Hold on. Sure. So this is the one. The Puma suede uh, collaboration with the Batman, and it, the reason I love it is because it's it kind of falls into two universes that I love. One is sneakers, and one is pop culture. I'm a huge fan of uh, the Batman. The movie was phenomenal, and this is just a great way of celebrating both both my worlds that I love. You know, sneakers and Batman. It's just a good looking shoe. Actually, I one thing that I'm really impressed with Puma as a brand. I mean. For if a lot of people are not aware, Puma is the leading brand in India in terms of revenue and it's been only possible because the prices are very low and at, even at, at low prices, 
you can get some reasonable sneakers and a decent looking one Absolutely. I mean, this sneaker, for instance, is available on the Puma website, on Ajiu, and a whole bunch of other places, and it's super reasonable. I think after whatever discounts that you get on Ajiu or even the Puma website, I think this is an under five thousand or just above five thousand rupee sneaker, wow. which is fantastic. Now, okay. if you see this, oh, yes. it looks it, it, all of all the sides. There's just one side which has a yellow swoosh, and the other three sides have this. It feels like you know the stitching has been taken off. It's been pulled off. The swoosh has been pulled off, and there are these red threads that are coming out. What I love about this again goes back to storytelling. This is a sneaker which was done uh, as sort of a tribute to the rock bands, the metal bands back in the 80s who used to wear Jordan ones, and they used to wear these leather jackets, just ke upper patches hote the. So you know when you pull out a patch, you have those threads coming out, which is what this looks like. So you know the moment. I saw and check out the leather quality on this. It is spectacular. There's just like another expression of art, basically. Um, apart from, of course, the absolute wearability of sneakers, which I is the primary function good. of a shoe. Oh I think we are very prudent when it comes to uh, using our money. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and it's not just about like being like utility driven. It's more about. It's much more, right? It's about the materials. It's about the colorways. It's about like all the different. There's so much history, like to a lot of shoes. Unfortunately, Jordan fours just don't work for me. I have only one Jordan four, yeah, and that, that and that's because I'm a collector. I love yellow. I absolutely adore yellow, and this is one of my favorite sneakers. It looks phenomenal, and uh, this is the only Air Jordan four in my collection. In fact. Right now, uh, my beaters are not actually sneakers. They are these Salehi Bembury Crocs. I got the white ones. I think they are phenomenal. They are extremely comfortable, and oh. yeah, these are my beaters right now. And with the rains coming in, this is I think the perfect sneaker to wear. Uh, if you look at sneak, you know, sneaker collection from the perspective of it being a business, then your decisions are different. But if you're looking at it from the perspective of being a collector, the most important thing is. does it make you happy will you wear the pair do you think it looks good on you if your answer to all of those is yes go ahead and buy the pair don't care about the hype don't care whether the price is going to appreciate depreciate what's going to happen yaar kitna pressure loge yaar main to main bol raha 6 lakh rupaye ka dior lene se acha hai main 6 lakh mein 5 30 pairs mere aa jayenge yaar air jordan ones at retail 30 nahi to 25 pairs aa jayenge retail pe So I'm saying i'd much rather buy 25 pairs at retail than buying a 6 lakh rupee shoe exactly i cannot Even if I had all the money in the world, I cannot imagine myself buying a six lakh rupee shoe at like at resale. So guys, that was yet another sneakerhead episode on Smart Kicks. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. And if you have any thoughts about Mihir's sneaker collection and his immense knowledge around the sneaker culture, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do it right now. Till my next video, you guys stay fit and keep watching Smart Kicks.